Yes, there's a new pathway. I'd like to call the meeting to order at uh, 102 p.m. Are there any? Could I have a motion to approve uh, tonight's, this afternoon's agenda? Presented. Councilor Crane, all in favor? Carried. Could I have a motion to accept uh, the minutes from the business meeting uh, from November the 19th, please? Deputy Mayor w w Waring, all in favor? Carried. Are there any questions? Any questions for this evening? This afternoon? Delegations. 7.1 High Country Wellness Coalition. Ms. Nelson. Welcome. Yes. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me here. And uh, I know Heather has got me all set up here. And if you don't mind, I'm going to sit. Uh, I had foot surgery about seven and a half weeks ago, so I'm still Make not Make yourself great. comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> I'm at least walking. Good. Um, uh, Ms. Nelson, if you just... I need one, but the first part of my presentation is just um, information, because I see some new faces on council. They might not know about the coalition, um, who we are, what we do. I'm not going to be uh, presumptuous and read slide by slide. I assume you have a copy of my presentation there in front of you. No, they don't? Okay. I'll, I'll be brief. <laughs> my name is Linda Nelson. I'm the chair of the Wellness Coalition. Uh, I've been a resident of Black Diamond since 2005, and the coalition has been in existence since probably 2006. I'm one of the original members. We meet monthly at the Sheep River Library, second Tuesday of the month at noon. Pardon my back. <laughs> the mission, vision, and key uh, message of the coalition. I'd like to share some of our priorities, tell you a little bit about the Bikes for All program, and trail maps and our sign proposal. So this is who we are, and we do get involved in community events. This is the Millerville Half Marathon. It's a good uh, exposure for us and the coalition, and we have a lot of fun. So these are some of my coalition members. So before you, you see our mission, our vision, and our message, up in the top right hand corner is our logo that we developed. In the middle um, is our seniors uh, wellness program that we started way back when at the United Church in uh, Turner Valley in the basement. And in the bottom right corner is our um, outdoor fitness park. And the goals of our initiative, we'll just let you briefly read those. And again, we have people at the, mar the half marathon. We usually manage the cinnamon bun station. So it's a very popular station. That's not healthy. And well, the runners can choose to do uh, the cinnamon bun run. And if they do that, then they have a special col colored bib. They have to eat a, uh, a bun. And the buns from Cops, the first year we got them, were so huge. The poor runners, they've scaled them down now. So <laughs> it's a little more manageable. But it's an 8K run, and they have two bun stations. So ours is the first one. <laughs> so it's lots of fun. We've had stories in the media uh, about our, um, in the bottom right corner, our outdoor fitness park. Uh, and beside that, our winter walk day. And uh, we promote winter walk 
day and we get the schools involved and we have um, prizes donated. And uh, the top left is me on, on the new pathway in Black Diamond and the top right is our Bikes for All program launch. Our Bikes for All program, I don't know if you're familiar with it or not, we started a partnership with the library in 2017. You just need a library card and uh, sign a waiver and you can rent slash loan a bike, just like you can a book, a pedometer, um, the hiking poles, whatever. And uh, we made the request to the library board and they thought that was a great idea, so uh, we went out and we got some funding and we bought some bikes and we got some donated bikes and um, our program partners you can see in the bottom left corner and of course you are a program partner because you have enabled us to store the bikes over the winter. This is our newest this year at Discovery Days and we had a Wellness Coalition members circulating amongst the crowd and we just wanted to find out if people knew about our pathway system. Uh, would they be uh, willing or able to use a trail map? And would they be in favor of trailhead markers? Now we only targeted 93 people that particular day. Uh, I'm not sure why. I did the first hour shift and I probably had about 60 people done. So I think my other volunteers were visiting that day. But we set out to find out uh, if it would be worth our while to um, investigate this further. So um, following the survey, we just we found from people that they would be interested in a map. And um, so a, a rough map was done, marking some of the trails and pathway systems. Um, this has been a fluid document. I think this is probably the third or fourth version. Um, but we have a hard copy version that the primary care network donated funds to and they printed it for us. So it's available at the library for uh, visitors to the area or for people who are using the bikes and, and want to know where the trails go. And there's also an electronic version on the library website. So from the Discovery Day survey, um, People had also um, replied that they would be interested in, in signing. So the, the last sign you saw was just a sample of uh, the signage that we would like to install. And this is a, a different one where it's uh, like a trailhead. If you come to a split in the path, which way do you go and how far is it and where will it take you? This is just a sample. And uh, one of your uh, PPRAC members asked me the other day, well, this is going to be a fluid document, so how are you going to keep up to date with it? And then I thought, well, maybe a better idea would be um, to have markers at the top of the pools this way so far and this way so far as opposed to maybe a map. I, I, I don't know. We haven't sort of ironed out all the bugs or the kinks yet. It's just, it, it, it's an idea that's percolating here. So this is where we're at. Um, I'm, I've done, uh, I'm a member of the Black Diamond Parks and Rec Committee, so that's a nice tie-in for me. So I presented to them, I presented to your PPRAC committee, um, presenting to you today, Black Diamond on Wednesday. And uh, I'm awaiting some uh, quotes for signs from uh, a local business. And once I get all of that in place, then um, we're going to try to finalize the budget and look for some funding. <coughs> now this map shows possible signage sites. It's not, not written in stone by any means, but just, you know, maybe we could put up the trail the, the uh, nice simple one at some of the sites and then the, where it splits, <coughs> excuse me, where it splits, put a different kind of sign up. That's, that's basically it. Do you have any questions or? Thank, thank, thank you. Uh, you know, this is an interesting concept and uh, I certainly appreciate you coming to show it. Are there any questions from council? 
one of our missions is to increase uh, wellness in the community. So if we can get more people out riding their bicycles or walking or pushing their strollers or rollerblading or whatever they want to do, and I think it's a nice, something nice that may draw visitors as well to be able to offer visitors a place to go walking or hiking and, and be able to know where the trails are. Thank you, Mary. Do you have an ask from council today to help you with your project? Just that um, council may be willing to uh, direct administration to work with us on, on the project. And um, if, you know, down the road, if there are funds available, I understand you might have a community fund that we may be able to access some, uh, some finances for uh, signage. Great. Yeah, uh, thanks Linda for, uh, especially for doing survey on discovery days and hitting <coughs> the population because that's uh, really hands on is what you're going to do with, uh, with our population. And, uh, the numbers definitely seem to support some signage. Um, of course, um, trail connectivity is definitely on our radar as a, a priority and I totally look forward to seeing what kind of signs you come back with. We're going to do a two-phase capital budget this year, so um, we can definitely look at, I think, uh, putting some money into that when you get more information. I mm -hmm. think it's, it's a no-brainer because we're looking at signage anyway, and we really like to empower volunteerism, and you guys are awesome, um, as your flight program clearly indicates in your other library um, partnerships. So anyway, um, uh, totally support your initiative and really thank you for doing all the hard work. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. Um, I don't think I'm looking anything too uh, out there for signage. Like the, the first the initial individual signs that just say trail on them, like you saw the person, you know, like a simple, fairly simple sign. And we did ask the local business because that person will have. Uh, a knowledge of what the, um, the bylaws or the, <coughs> the dimensions or, or whatever is involved in, in making appropriate signs, something that's um, going to wear well, be, be good in the weather, and we don't want anything too, too fancy. Like, it doesn't have to be fancy. It's just marking a trail. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This question is more for admin than, than for uh, Linda. Uh, do you think this is something that should be directed to admin already or should she continue to work with PPRAC? Mr. Sharp? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's a good question. Well, um, administration is always happy to support the volunteer committees in, in the community. I know we are currently doing that with some RAC initiatives and more needed. Um, Craig would be out in, in providing advice, guidance, mm -hmm. interpretation on bylaws, that sort of thing. So w we can continue to do that. I've already made a note to have Mr. Beaton follow up with uh, PRAC and with a uh, coalition to talk about um, what it is they're looking for. Of course, um, when when the group gets an idea of the concepts, we can work with uh, them to get a sense for those types of costs and we can bring it back to you. Yeah, Craig, was that uh, our, the meeting that I presented? And I had emailed him prior to that to give him a heads up about the whole project I did, just to inform him. So administration doesn't 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 need anything to the council at this point. You can just uh, continue to work. With, uh, we'll continue to work. Thank you. Thank you very much for your presentation. That this is exciting. The community grows uh, to have that and the availability of it, and uh, maybe some of the visitors.
Do you have any, any, anything further on your question? No, I had a great response. Thank you very much. Councilor sure. uh, Green, do you have anything further on your question? Not in regards to uh, this present one. Thank you for it. But uh, I just wanted to point out um, that my previous question regarding ball fence height looking great over there. The poles are getting up there. I don't know if you guys saw, but uh, they're about 35, I'm going to say 35 feet in the air now. So it's going to be a nice safe facility um, once that netting's in now. So uh, thank you very much. Thank you. Um, you know, the any, any motions on this just for good to go.
questions, neither of which I have all of the details, obviously, to answer at this moment. Um, we will strive to have an answer for you uh, for both of those at the next council meeting, um, specifically uh, around the, or excuse me, let me back up. Um, we will strive to have an answer on the engineering services for you in the new year. Uh, right now, we're, we're chock full shoulders solely with uh, budget deliberations and other things, but we will bring that one back to council. Specifically with how we're capturing um, our debentures, principal and interest, uh, I've spoken to the finance team and we're going to do our best to have an answer for you by our Wednesday budget meeting. It may not come in written form, but it will certainly come in verbal form. Perfect. Yeah, Mayor, where, where do you have a question? Yeah, I... I Uh, my question is an update on the uh, water uses of Black Diamond and Turner Alley at the end of November, please. Mr. Sean. Judging from uh, the tone and Deputy Mayor wearing his voice, he knows I don't have that with me off the top of my head. <laughs> All 30 days. Uh, we will provide that to Council at the next. Thank you. Councilor Rock. I thought I only had one question, but I now have two. Uh, first of all, I didn't attend the uh, short meeting last, uh, on the 29th of last week, unfortunately, and maybe this has already been answered. What's the status of our new water intake? I know the goal was to have it ready by the end of November. Is it up and running? Mr. Sharp? Uh, through the Mayor to Councillor Rapp, uh, we anticipate that project, that intake project, um, to be substantially complete by the end of next week. Uh, so very close to being on time. We have some things like landscaping and some fencing we'll do in the spring. Uh, but uh, being substantially complete in the next week, we've got a pump that's a bit of a long lead item that isn't crucial uh, this time of year anyways. So our goal is that starting in the spring, when things thaw, that we'll be pumping water into that uh, residence. So you're saying you can't, you can't really get any water in the, into the system this, sprint, this fall anymore? It's too late, is that what I hear? That's a day-to-day -day thing, depending on the weather. So uh, currently, uh, in, in speaking with the engineers, we might have a few days left to try and, and flow water, but we're not counting on that. So uh, unfortunately, we were, we're running into a winter season. Uh, thank you very much for that. The other question I have is, uh, I think it relates to what Ms. Hall, Councilor Holliday has been talking about, snow removal. As this meeting is going on, I look out the window and I see a grader operating. And I'm thinking, we haven't got that much snow that we should have a grader operating this time. So it might be something we need to, to address. I, I don't think it's really good. Time. I'm not trying to confront anybody. I'm just saying it's, it seems ready to eat. I thought six inches of snow was kind of our limit for the grader. So maybe there's another reason. I'm not sure. Just a point of curiosity. Councillor Green, do you have a question? Uh, yeah, um, mine is um, the Photos of Regional Landfill Commission uh, last term, and now it's uh, Councillor Holidays. So, in terms of the Tetra Tech report uh, of March 27. Um, 2017, sorry, um, with the investigation by, led by Oak Tokes into curbside recycling and uh, the MERP facility that's proposed. Um, I was just looking, because this is an ongoing study, um, and it, I believe April is the end date, so I would just like to know uh, next meeting when their proposed final results are going to be in and what that's going to um, well it's basically just a date because then we can we can go from there so basically when is the final tetra tech study complete proposed okay. that's in regards to the MERF facility which is the municipal regional rental all right mr sharp what all is that going on Okay, uh, moving on to 11.1, .1, community support grant request, HC, HCMH face-off in Foothills Adam Hockey Tournament post-event support. Mr. Sharp, are you speaking to this one?
before you is a community uh, grant support request from the organizing committee for the uh, face-off in the Foothills event, which is hosted by High Country Minor Hockey. Um, this is a post-mortem request, if you will. Uh, they attempted to get uh, a request in in time for their event, but because of extenuating circumstances, we weren't able to get that onto an agenda and we needed more clarification about the event. But we did give them, uh, we did signal to them that we would uh, take this after the fact uh, to council, so hence the reason that you see it before you. It was a fundraising event for uh, High Country Minor Hockey Association, about half of the registration participant fees, or excuse me, the participant fees covered about half of the expenses, and so they're requesting uh, the $500 uh, through the support grants to help offset the remainder of the costs for the tournament. The administration is uh, recommending that we support their request. Thank you, Mr. Sharp. Could I have a motion from Council on this? And the motion is that Council approves the High Country Minor Hockey Association's Community Support Fund grant application in the amount of $500. Thank you, Deputy Mayor. Any questions from Council? If none, I'll call the vote. All in favor? Motion to We have some general correspondence, a uh, letter from uh, Community Planning Association of Alberta. Um, the council, can I have a motion for the council to accept this with information? Councillor Holliday, are there any questions from council? All in favor? Carried. Moving on to uh, the committee report uh, board meetings. Uh, could I have, uh, we have West End Re Re Regional Sewage, Sewage Service Commission uh, minutes. Uh, could I have a motion, Councillor Deputy Mayor Warren, please? Motion. Motion. Motion is to accept the minutes from uh, West End. Okay. Are there any questions on the minutes? Uh, Councillor Holliday, please. Yeah, I one that maybe Councilor, or a couple that Council Marin could answer. Um, capital Asset Management Plan, um, you had the motion in here in October to request one. So is MPE, is, do they, does it not go up for a tender for multiple engineering firms to do a capital asset management plan, or is it because of um, their background knowledge of our system, it, does it have to be them, how, how has that worked out? And uh, we heard, and then the second question, we heard in Shrek how Shrek is putting 25% of amortization away. Does West End do that? Do they have a reserve fund set up or not? Sucky funding numbers to see what the rough cost would be for such a study. Um, once that's just, uh, we have an idea of that amount of money, then we would go out for tender for that. And with respect to um, building up reserve funds, indeed, every year uh, money's put away for reserve funds. I can't tell you out the back of my head what the percentage is. But um, in, the, in the budget that we're discussing on tomorrow morning, um, these numbers are not in that budget, but you'll get copies of that being the case, uh, all in favor of the motion? Carried. Uh, Parks and Path and the Recreation, Recreation Advisory Committee, can I have a motion from Council Rob? Please, on the next. Yeah, I'd like to make a motion that we accept the uh, PPRAC uh, minutes from November 27th and also the attachment to the minutes as information. Thank you, Council Rob. Are there any questions in regards to the minutes? Councilor Rob, you have a question? Not exactly. I just have a comment that uh, if you look at Ms. Nelson's request, it's actually on the attachment here. We'll give you some information about her, what she's requesting there. So just, uh, just back up information for she was asking for it. Okay? Just for your information only. Thank you. Thank you. If there are no further questions, uh, call for vote. All in favor? Here. Okay. Good motion uh, to take a five minute recess. Please.
Yeah. <laughs> 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 